Now, health delivery at a chips compound at Nyakwikope on the Dwarf Island in the Afran Plains north of the eastern region is gradually collapsing with the invasion of the facility by bats. This has not only affected healthcare delivery, but the lives of health workers at the chips compound is also at risk. Aja Adobio Usu has the rest of the story. Nyakwikope is about two hours drive on a motorbike after crossing the Volta Lake on a boat. The chips compound in Nyakwikope serves about three communities. Residents have to travel about two hours to Germany, the nearest community which is about seven kilometers to be able to assess health care. The bats have almost taken over the entire compound, obstructing health delivery. The mammals have destroyed the ceiling of the clinic where they assemble while emitting a shrill sound and a bar stench. Community members are not able to assess the facility due to the stench that emanates from the center. The only health worker at the facility, Emmanuel Menu says the bats usually appear at night and attack him, making it dangerous for him to even come out of his room, which is also at the facility. The stench itself, you can't stay. You have been here uh, for three years. At times we get sick and we have to go and seek for medical treatment. According to the nurse, the car batteries used to generate power to refrigerate vaccines for immunization are all not in good states, compelling him to stop the immunization process. And the battery uh, for the fridge for the immunization has spoiled since October 2017. And there's nothing like that. We have to go to the villages, sleep over to do immunization for the children. We have been doing this since October 2017. And there's no help from anywhere. The chief of the community says several attempts to get the bats out of the community have proven futile. We asked for support, but nobody came. So we decided to engage in communal labor to drive them out, but it did not work. Also in Nyakwikope, the only basic school which has 158 pupils has two permanent teachers and four voluntary teachers who are paid by the community. This has led to the collapse of the junior high school which serves about five of the surrounding communities. Two teachers over here taking a class, KG1 up to the level of P6, taking them become a problem, two teachers, taking all classes. So with that, parents have started transferring their walls to communities like Dropon. Then the SMC chairman is a student of this particular GHS because of the system of lack of teachers. When they pose them, they refuse to turn. And they find means of just leaving the district. That is why the GHS to have collapsed. The chief of the community said parents refuse to pay a contribution of 10 Ghana cities, which is paid to the community teaching assistants. The PTA contributes to pay community teaching assistance, but due to economic hardship, some parents are unable to pay. He therefore called on the district assembly and other civil societies to come to their aid. And that's all for Mission tonight. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks for watching.